Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Squadron Tower Defense playlist. Today, bringing you a Adrenaline Chaos 3X game. I, I started recording here as I lulled because in this 3X draft, excuse me, Adren it's Adrenaline 3X draft. Uh, Mexican Junior says, Zeal, you better be in it for the team. <laughs> they could. Uh, I'll say, uh, lol, let's say you got it, man. <laughs> All right, so this is a static charge. So this means more units getting hit in the front line, the better. So um, Ranger is a no-brainer. Got to get a Ranger. They're just so good. Um, for tanks, good to, just trying to think. I really was a fan of the Nightmare. The Doppelganger is so good. Um, Theos is a really, really, really good pick in the later game. So I'll go with the Theos. Especially because I'm going melee heavy, so... Other than the ranger, at least, so yeah. I don't want any zerglings. I don't need any specters, per se. They give me something, like, on a decent range. Here's, like, range 3-4. Netherlord is the obvious pick. And uh, Roach Fighter, to empower the troops. Uh, Magnus Resonator is fine, but Roach Fighters have more value in numbers, so... This is going to be one heck of a, a round here, so... So yeah, my wave line one and two tanks are nether master, so you may as well just enjoy the fact that that's what it's going to be. And get to that immediately. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. Um, the <laughs> execution is coming. He must have seen that I always eco. <laughs> like I don't know, I got, I don't do enough stuff in terms of like SSing and stuff. I'm not a bad player. Like I'm a good player, but I, I'm actually a good player at this point. But it's like, <laughs> like there he's like he, he definitely knows it must be a good team. So yeah. So which way he get a preserver build? Yeah, that's nice. That's a really good build. So yeah, I always go with the ranger because for me, I always see the ranger work. So not saying preserver might not work, but I just know that the ranger does work. So may as well stick with what works. Again, I'm gonna hold off here because this passive actually another level horror two ways for sure. Because he frequently pauses uh, the troops DPS while he goes on, so. One Melia is a really good choice, so yeah. Alright, um, so. I actually think the correct choice is to save from here. Because, like, the Ranger would be really good in terms of, like, preventing a big send from having, like, a deleterious effect on me. But I can't get a Melia immediately, so it starts to make me wonder, like, is it better just to get the Nether Master? You know what? No, I'm going to get it, because what happens is you expose yourself. You open yourself up to risk. So, if you don't get it, so. The risk reward isn't worth it. It's better just to wait to get the Nether Master, and for now, level this up. Because if they send a Titan Strider, you are caught... And you don't have anything there. So they didn't, and it would have helped, but you don't know that. And it's okay, because this way I'm also gassing instead of saving, and it goes from there, so. Yeah, this is good. This lets me get at least one Melii also. Come on. Nice. Go team. That was so funny. <laughs> just like Mexicutioner saying that. I've seen Mexicutioner a lot. He hosts the lobby a lot. If you see my previous games, he's quite a common player. So it's good to see that.
So getting another melee eye for now is the correct choice, I think. Okay, so decisions, decisions. I, I do think that the correct choice is to gas a little bit from here. Get up to 5-1, upgrade another melee eye, and keep it going from there. Actually, I think I can clear the next wave with only this setup, because the overload wave is not particularly strong. So I'm taking a little bit of a risk here gassing, um, but I can compensate for that with another ranger. So it's not exactly even but it does mean that i'm at 5-2 at a time when i would like to be at 5-2 i would like to be at 5-2 going into wave 5 and that's exactly the position i'm in now so He's saying send a roach on six, so I will okay. I will I will copy that because I was called out once. So. Pre-game actually, pre-game wants to make sure I'm I'm actually doing something. So I respect that. Actually, I'm gonna hold off. I might be able to get that other master. So uh, nope. Okay. So what am I gonna do here? Actually, I think I can get two melee eyes. So that's the best best option for now. And uh, I'm actually going to gas next wave. And man actually i'm gonna hold off because of the fact that do we need not do we need another roach i'm just gonna send one because i think we need four roaches yeah so uh, executioner wants to scout their environment upon death and i can respect that so let's take a look here let's look at the wave leader he's got a st data android and something in the back. Here he's got a half breed. Here he's got a crowlock. And here this one is still fighting on, so. So relaying the scouting information to the team. We were able to get the android, half-breed, and crow lock. Queen goal eight. Okay. Should be good. And Hydra. That's going to be tough. So got to start saving. Um, oh, so close, but no worries. Um, the correct decision for me is uh, go ahead and get one melee yeah, and another ranger. Actually, two more rangers. Because what, what it means is that after this wave, um, we will have the opportunity to upgrade this mob. So that is good. Good stuff. Okay. So we are saving for eight. So first things first is the queen. Executioner sends the hydra. I'm going to send a queen to get the four queens. Good stuff. So he said queen. He said queen goal. I have a, I have a good amount of gas, so... Um, this is tough, because if I had eco, I would have probably been able to get that another master, but I can't, so what are you going to do about it? Um, I actually need more tanking desperately, so I have to build something more. I have to. I'm, I'll probably leak the wave, so... They'll definitely understand, because not leaking comes first. And from there... Um, They've got a goal, so he's saying Hydra. So pretty much anything I can get from here will be good. Immortal, but it's actually more important to get the damage, so. So we have five goals, it doesn't stack, but it's whatever it is. And keep it going from there. 
good stuff. So you see here, I really do need both Nether Lords, and he's calling for SS. So BBG it is. Just gotta go with it. We're putting a team effort in right now, and we are getting some amazing results. You see a big leak from them, and uh, they're fortunate to have even anything back there. But they they are they are really hurting, man. Like really, really, really hurting. So. But they have good SS. I think they might have BBG upgraded. Oh man, this is gonna be close. I think he's got it though. I think they have a RBG done. So, meaning their sub cannons are good to go. All right. Um, from here, I have decision to make, and I made it. I'm just gonna get the three melee because it is the safest option from there. So I may as well. I'm not sure what my ELO is, honestly. 1132. I don't know if that's good or bad, I have no idea. Alright. Now. Um, keep it going from here. I'm going to save, um, because wave 10 is incoming, and yeah. He's sending Banelings. And sending Lings, I think Lings is fine. Um, if my execution yells at me, I'm going to say I thought Lings were best, so, you know, that's what it is. Uh, I had good intention, and that's got to count for something, so... So good coordination, and thanks to my executioner for taking the time to uh, you know, make that decision. All right. Um, what's the plan? I have a completely filled out rank here. Um, so honestly, getting some tanking is probably the correct choice. There's actually nothing else to do, but... Cause I, I mean, I have to... Theoretically, I have to stop building e these units, right? Like, Well, yeah, I think this will hold. So, it is what it is at this point. Yeah, need these melee to really start kicking into high gear. Good stuff. Need, it, need a little bit more here. And they have got it done. Excellent job. Absolutely excellent job. They were able to get the job done. So I'm saving for 12. I'm not sure if that's the correct decision at this point. Um, because I was wasting a lot of gas, so it is what it is. Um, with the leak, I'm just going to save a little bit more, and we'll go from there. Get some income for now. I think power model is 15, so that's quite nice. Okay. Save, right. Um... I honestly think I just need more tanking right now. Like, the, in this wave 11, I need to get the two Nether Masters set up. So. So sending these wrath walkers. Yeah, 
We have really done a good job with the sins. And just continuing to build the tanking because um, that's really what the limiting resource is right now. Is um, Because we have our range set up, which is really good. But we need our front line to come along a little bit more. So that's that. an SS. Nothing wrong with getting some SS in. So here the two nether masters are holding strong as you see. Their health is just not dropping which is huge. I'm not going crazy on the SS. I'm in last place but I'm trying to do the best I can. Oh next wave is wave 13 so that is really good. That means I can gas here instead of having to think about anything else. So a lot of Colossus coming down the pike, but they will have a good SS at this point. So I'm expecting BBG, yeah, and that's going to clear it up. Good job to cause a leak, though. And now I'm going to gas because of the fact that... like to finish RBB. Cool, it's done. Cool. Uh, my share of the eco is like normal, so I'm not doing too much. So. Uh, 14 will be a, probably a tough wave, so I'm going to save here and get a couple upgrades of the Nether Lord. Yep, huge, huge, huge. Because Nether Masters have this ability here. Allies all gain 25% damage resistance. It's unclear if this stacks or not. That's the thing, so. And this is why USS, because I'm we're get, I'm getting a horrible send here. My executioner does really well. Unclear which one we're gonna go with. Probably sap cannons because it's cheaper. We have good SS. Okay, so, um, I, I still think the correct choice is to get more tanking. Looking at the video here, uh, excuse me, looking at the game we have here. Um, uh, I need to fill out this front line best I can. Because last time you saw, the Melia is still, uh, they broke through this front line. Which shows me that I, I need more beef again on this front line, so. That's the plan going forward. It's I need to take a look here at how much damage resistance I have. It seems I can only get 25 damage resistance, so yeah.
I just right on the saving. Um, my gas is pretty low, but my value is pretty high. And I am thinking about getting this upgrade here. So, Ultra and Thor. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, start with an Ultra. That sounds pretty good. And keep it going from there. Yeah, I'm suddenly really glad I upgraded. As you can see here, turns out that tanking was really needed. Able to get at least one of the Thor. The Thor which is huge, man. Like... Yeah, Marcos is playing really well. Oh, she's an executioner in Marcos, so. You need to just keep going with the game plan, and. You know, I still don't have a fully formed front line, so. I need more tanking, basically. There wasn't, like, a cyborg or anything great like that on a tanking perspective, but. Overburn, nice. Good choice. A good hold from the SS. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. If you take a look here, you get an opportunity to get the 287 Nethermaster here. So, yeah. Yeah, this is very good. Um, I, and now from here, I need to start filling out this next line with Terminators and Roach Fighters, which shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, honestly, like, they're really good units, so. Some Abyss Mage. This is a big send wave, so. I'm thinking I need to get a little bit of gas from here. And you see, this is really helpful because as long as these tanks hold, the melee are doing unmolested DPS. You know, so. That's really good. The uninterrupted DPS is just first class. And I'm very grateful we got that because <laughs> we're not, like, in a great position, so. I haven't been in a great position, you see here. I haven't had a successful wave hold in a while. And now I'm down to my melee eye. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, those Doomsday Machines are doing well. Laser battery. It's a tough. It's tough stuff here. So yeah. Yeah. So um. Okay. I'm gonna keep it going from here. If we take a look. Roach fighter. Roach fighter is a pretty good choice. For sure. Getting like one roach fighter is a really good choice. The thing is, like, it also exposes um. Like getting getting some melee fighters behind it is not a bad idea either. Like building a couple doppelgangers in the second line. I actually think that's maybe a better choice. Because the Melia are still doing untouched damage from the back, which is huge. And that's like what's starting to give my team a chance as well. I don't know if I'll hold 20, but you see here, none of the mobs actually approach the Melia because any melee mob at full surround w won't reach him. And any ranged mob also won't reach them because they're fighting from the back. So that's that I, for me, if I build a Roach Fighter, then suddenly my Melia gets surrounded earlier. And this structure that I fought so hard to build is rendered a moot point. But instead, if I build a two doppelgangers that will hold from a melee DPS perspective, then uh, that will be uh, fruit for me for quite a while. So that's the logic I have there, and that's what I'm working to implement now. All right, now, so taking a look here. Um, all right, so... This is pretty good, pretty good choice actually. So we got one doppelganger, one nightmare. From here, from here, I've got to start thinking about get building uh, roach fighters and stuff. I'm gonna gas for now because it's wave 19, and on wave 20, I'm gonna build the uh, the roach fighters, get the upgrades I need going forwards for wave 20. So that'll be the best I can do. 
So they sent huge, man. I mean, I mean huge. I mean, look at this. This is just not getting it done, dude. So I'll send broods. Yeah, that's. I mean, that setup is just not working, man. With the, the doppelganger, that that was a big letdown, actually, which is really tough to see that that was not something that's going to work because we've been fighting tooth and nail this game, and... Yeah, so I mean, it's it's difficult to say like what the correct decision is here. Um, it may be building Theos, it may be building another line of troops, um, but yeah. All right, so like this just didn't work. So it's actually more important to just learn from this now that this doppelganger structure didn't hold. So because it didn't hold, I need to make a better decision from here and keep it going. So instead, I'm going to build pulverizers all over the front. Let's see how this setup goes. Because like this is like, at least it's a different style. Where like, there's a pulverizer, a full wall of pulverizers in between. And that's like the best I can do. Because these pulverizers and the melee will attack at the same time. And so there's not like an overlap where the doppelganger is just sitting there like wasting its time. And frankly, I just didn't get enough uh, damage done, so, you know, so. So they are uh, actually taking some damage here, which is huge. Um, it didn't amount to like a, anything substantial, but it was something. So that's really good. Is there anything I want to build here? I mean, frankly, building like building two roach fighters is a good choice, or building three, whatever I want to build. Like building a wall of them isn't a bad choice. I'm just like commenting, like remarking to myself, like what is the correct decision? So. Ultra Feeder Thor. Okay, so I'll probably set it to uh, better link. Yeah. I'll just start sending Thors. And I'll trust them to send something else as well. I'll send another Fetter as well because we have one. I'll send a third Fetter as well just in case. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, this ended up being a very good choice. So, yeah. Okay, so a little bit, not enough overlap. <sighs> not sure why these Roach Fighters aren't getting anything done there. Um, this is getting pretty laggy, that much is for sure. I'm just gonna... <sighs> man. I don't have too many more waves to get. I'm trying to see, Mexicutioner sending Ultralisk. Okay, they're echoing, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, man. Big leak from me. It just didn't hold. Um, that shows me that... Uh, I gotta make a change, so... I'm gonna have to go ahead and start getting, uh, getting Theoses instead. 
It's just not working out with them roaches in that fourth wave. There's just not enough range difference between the troops. It's like 4 to 4.25, I think, or something like that. So that was a mistake for me. And I'm like, you just got to fix it now. So easier. This range is 4.25, and their range is, what, 4? Yeah, that's my mistake. 100% that's my mistake. And so I'm going to have to remedy that now. And um, that'll be done by getting Theosis. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, absolutely beautiful. And these Theosis will be first class. So. Uh, yeah, so absolutely great. i um, going to keep echoing from here. And yeah, we'll be just fine. So my values are really low. That's not good. Honestly, it's amazing I've held this much, and that's why I'm not taking it for granted. Because I did not expect this to even go this well. You know what I mean? Like, the value is just so low, because after I misbuilt those units, I need Theosis now instead of anything else, and that's what it is. You know, so... The Nether Masters can hold the first push, but, um, yeah. Yeah, so I gotta keep it going from there. Alright, so we'll see how this goes, because I'm, I'm getting my uh, value up as fast as I can, but I'm not sure. The, the, the big benefit is here is that every uh, Theos that I build, it does spawn on a Celestial, which is really good. Like That in and of itself will add a lot of value. Another Master's held out as long as they can. And yeah, I'm going to keep it going from there. Alright, so I'm taking a look here. I'm gonna need to keep building Theos as uh, best I can. I'm leaking a lot, but my value's catching up, which is huge. Pretty much because I've been doing nothing but uh, echoing, which is like pretty much like everything I need to do. Because my, <laughs> my, basically my value has just not been there, so. I feel that guy's getting way further ahead, which is good for them, obviously. I'm just saying for myself that I need to keep getting better, so yeah. I gotta compensate for the you know the fact that I'm behind and catch up and give it everything I have. So that's it. Come on, guys. That's what I'm saying. Like if they can hold on there, he's tyrannitaring it up. I'm really not sure what to send. So. I'm leaking consistently, which is not helping the team. So. It's a cool looking unit. The Tyrannosaur. It's very cool.
Okay, so very good stuff here. Doing well. Okay, keep it going from there. Yeah, we get a second Tyranosaur, which is huge. And then going back to the Quilgor, because I desperately need income. I'm in a bad state, so... My best chance of holding is to build those Theoses. Maybe even build another wave of Nether Masters, because... I just don't have the damage, you know? I don't have the... the Well, it's actually okay, because once I'm eliminated uh, on 31, I won't be costing my team any team anything. I just think that uh, after, uh, like, I'm not helping the team anymore, so it's like there's not actually a point in being here, so. Like, so, yeah. You know, so, uh, like, this is the issue is I'm the one who's been leaking consistently, so. These guys have awesome spread, man. The missile array, 7.5. Nightcrawlers, he's got Asimovs, okay, he goes with the Asimov range too. Interesting, okay. Yeah, the Centurion is first class for tanking. I should have actually gone with that. I'm going to get this tower here, and that seems like the correct choice. Doomsday with the cyborg wall. Okay, they all have this tank here. I think it's four Centurion players, so. Yeah, I should have gone with the Centurion, obviously, but it's too little too late for that now. So everyone giving it the max they can on gas, which is huge. So, yeah. Here's what it is, we'll do the best we can. Okay, um, so... Alright, so I need some tanking here. Like, because my tanking has been really low, so, yeah. I don't know if I have anything, man. I'm just not able to hold this, man. Just not able to hold 
right now. Next wave, wave 29, zoo car. I've literally been sitting on like absolutely nothing for the longest time, so. I guess we thought this was the best strategy. I mean, personally, I don't think so because I could have, I could have probably amassed this much gas like the whole the whole other time. But uh, that's like teamwork for you. I mean, I call this peer pressure, man. Had I known this from the beginning, I would have just kept sending Quilgo. But I did not. Un I did not honestly know that this <laughs> was how little gas you get. And so it is what it is. But yeah, it's no big deal. All right, so Chinas are only on uh, 30, so yeah. A good thought from him. It's better than nothing, so I'll work with that. So he's talking about building the pyro. The T1 pyro. It has a slow effect. So I'll do the best I can. I'm really not sure where to build it, honestly. good honestly all right well here goes He's right. The concussion shells have done a good job slowing the brutalisks. So I'm still getting rolled, but. Like you said, it slowed them enough that it was able to make a difference here. We won! Nice job, team. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.